All right, what's up y'all? It's your Eunice Marie here, and today I have another Butters and Bars haul for you guys. Yes, if you guys have seen my first haul, you guys know that I fell in love with Butters and Bars. Um, unrefined organic shea butter so I went ahead and I ordered more shea butter from them plus I ordered some cocoa butter and some mango butter um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I got um if you have not seen my um, first butters and bars uh, shea butter review I will make sure to link it here and also down below so that you can catch up on how I felt with my first impression of butters and bars organic um, organic shea butter okay so first thing first I got a pound of their shea butter um, like I said I love their organic shea butter it is a legit shea butter um, as you can see I already used quite a bit of it but it just smells like a pure shea butter it feels like a pure shea butter like all everything about the shea butter is pure and I got a pound of it I'm trying to remember how much did I pay for I think I paid eight bucks for a pound if not seven fifty for a pound I think that just for um, a half a pound it's like five bucks so I think a pound I think I got it for like seven fifty or eight dollars somewhere around there and um so yeah I got a pound of their shea butter then I've then I've never ever 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 tried mango butter and I heard so many good things about it and how people use them and they use it in their um body butters and for their body and it's so it has great benefits for the skin and it doesn't really have a smell to it not really it doesn't really have a smell to it yeah no it doesn't really have a smell to it it looks like this it is chunky um, compared to like the shea butter this one's a little bit more chunky and I can't really s describe the feel of it like the feel of it when you first pick it up because they do they're like it's chunky so when you first pick it up and you get a chunk it's kind of like the same consistency I mean it's kind of like the same chunky feeling as shea butter but when it starts to melt it melts down to more of an a more oily consistency than anything um, and it really glides onto the skin really really well so um, I really do like this and I don't use a lot of this um, I do make my own shea butter my own body butter mixes which I will share share with you guys in a minute but I don't use a lot of it I just use uh, like a little chunk of it when I'm blending everything and I think a little bit of mango butter goes a long way only because when you put a little bit in your hand it gets really oily like and buttery really quick so I only use a little bit of this and this one was I think this is a half a pound of mango butter yeah I think this is half a pound and I got this one for about this was about 750 for half a pound or eight bucks for half a pound definitely the mango butter is way more pricier than the shea butter and the actual cocoa butter I believe too so I didn't want to get a half a pound and plus I mean I didn't want to get a whole pound and plus I feel like if I gotten a whole pound it probably would have been a little bit too much mango butter for me because this is only half a pound and um yeah and it's a lot of mango butter it's gonna last me for some time the next thing next that I got of course was organic raw cocoa butter and they come in these little uh palette thingies or these little circles and I got um, a pound of them a pound of, is it a pound of or is it half a pound now I got a pound of mink I got a pound of cocoa butter as well okay so this is raw and refined cocoa butter and I mean it smells like cocoa butter like really really delicious and um and I really like it like I used it in my butter that I'm about to show you guys now and it's really it's just like you don't want to add too much I think it depends on how you're going what smell you're going for because me I use I think a little bit too much and it smells a lot of really cocoa buttery and I didn't really want a real cocoa buttery smell but it's fine something that's gonna like, nothing that is too much for me just something that is you know enough so I got that and I think it, I don't remember how much it was for a pound I can't remember um I'll link it down below I can't remember how much I paid for a pound now the only thing about the cocoa butter too is that it does melt very easily as you can see like the side of my bag Hold on. 
the side of my bag is like melted. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, and I had to throw these in the fridge just to keep it cool. And I may have to put it back in the fridge because it's pretty hot today in LA. And yeah, so the cocoa butter will melt on you. So if it's pretty hot where you stay, I would say put them in a fridge or put them in a bag and put them in the fridge or something like that so that they don't melt on you. Um, so yeah. Now this is kind of random, um, but it's not not from Burgers and Bars. I got it off of Amazon. And um, this is just some beeswax pellets. Um, they're organic beeswax pellets. And the reason why I got these was because I wanted to make um, body bars or, yeah, body bars. And I know with body bars, in order to keep them together, you have to use some type of wax. So I got these organic um, beeswax pellets to use. And this is about four ounces, 14 ounces, actually, 14 ounces. And I got this for like $7.99, $6.99 off of Amazon. So yeah, I haven't tried them yet, so I can't tell you much about them. But I'm definitely, when I do try them, I'll let you guys know. But I'm definitely going to do body bars or maybe lip balms or something of that sort with these. So yeah, stay tuned. Now, last but not least, I just wanted to share with you guys the body butter that I made. Um, I just went ahead and went to my kitchen and decided to make my body butter. If you guys have watched my, I think my, or my shea butter review video, I've stated that my skin has been, it just feels like it just needs a little bit more love, a little bit more care, and it seems like the lotions that I was that I were using was not working. Now I was using, you know, the Bath and Body Works lotion, and I was using just straight coconut oil, coconut oil as well, which is really good for the skin. But I felt as though it wasn't enough, and my skin was lacking something. All right, so my skin started to feel like itchy, like it just feels itchy sometimes, like, and it just be in random places, like my arms start itching, but. My skin just felt like it was dry and wasn't getting enough moisture, so I said, screw it. I'm not gonna use any more of that Victoria's Secret lotion, even though the vanilla lace smells really, really good. But I just said, okay, I'm gonna have to start to um, really just nourish my skin. And I started with ba with my um, bath products. You guys know that I went completely with shea butter and Dr. Bronner's um, soap for my bath um, items when I shower with. So I decided, okay, now I'm gonna move into my actual moisturizing routine being nothing but organic, natural items, okay? So I made myself body a body butter and it came out to be two, it gave me about, a, oh wait, these are eight ounces, so it gave me about a pound of um, body butter, okay? And I whipped it with my blender, my hand mixer, and I've been using it and I love it. Um, it has, I don't know the measurements because I didn't really measure it out that much. I kind of just eyeballed it and put it in there, but it has mango butter, it has shea butter, it has cocoa, cocoa butter in it. It has um, a little bit of coconut oil and a little bit of um, almond oil, okay? And this is what it looks like. And it's, um, it's really smooth on it. Let me show you guys. It is really smooth. It just melts into the skin. Oh. It just melts into the skin and I love it. Um I have a little I put a little bit of the um brambleberry fragrance oil vanilla into it, but it just melts right into the skin and it just makes you look so moisturized. And it does have, you can smell the shea butter in it, you can smell the cocoa butter in it because it's not, I only put a little bit of the vanilla select in it. I didn't put a lot because I wanted to have a little bit of the shea butter, but it smells delicious. Like it smells like cocoa, shea, and vanilla. Like it smells really delicious. So this is what it looks like. And this will last me for some time, you guys. Like. I don't have to worry about going out and buying a lotion or anything like I have a pound of body butter that I made from home from scratch and these ingredients and these items have so many good benefits for the skin and I'm just really really um, happy about that and wasn't this supposed to be a review <laughs> or a haul anyways 
I always get off the subject, right? But anyways, so yeah, so I made my own coke, my own body butter out of them, and I'm really satisfied with the body butter. If you guys want to see me make my own body butters, please make sure to like this video, um, comment down below. Let me know if you want me to show you how I make my body butters. It's really, really simple, and I think that paying for your products, I mean, out of all this, I got a pound worth of body butter. I didn't even use all of my ingredients as you guys can see so that means I get a real bang for my buck by making my own home items so I mean it's a good way to save on money as well when it comes to your own skincare because even though Victoria's Secret has like buy 35 get one free or buy 35 for 25 or 35 whatever keep in mind that you have to continue to go back and buy those things over and over and over again and you run out and they don't even have anything in, the, in it that really benefits the skin so besides they just smell really really good but you can put your own fragrance oils in these and everything of that sort and make it your own so anyways with that being said that is my random um butters and bars haul slash a little bit of, a little bit of an amazon haul slash my body butters that i made so yeah that is it so make sure to rate comment like all that fun stuff i will definitely 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 be putting um everything that i used on my blog as you guys know my blog is an extension of my youtube page so make sure you check that out at unisemarie dot no unisay.blogspot.com and make sure to spin to send any of your questions in um to unisaymarie at gmail.com if you guys have any questions i will answer them um, if you guys have any video ideas, that is another way that you guys can contact me is through my email. Oh, on Twitter. Um, all links to everything will be down below so that if you want to contact me, you know how to get in contact with me, okay? So yeah, with that being said, um, thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.